we are going to reduce this block diagram for that first of all check whether there is any block in series or parallel in the previous video we discussed the 11 rules for doing block diagram reduction in this question there are no blocks in series or there are no blocks in parallel so first two rules we can't apply then the third rule branch point so there are two branch point this is one branch point and this is also branch point we can move branch point after the block either we can use this branch point and move this after this block or we can use this branch point and move this after this block i am going to take the first branch point you can do it in any way okay i am going to take the first branch point i am going to move this branch point after the block moving branch point after the block i am going to take my first branch point i am going to move this after this g1 block so after this g1 block i can keep so this is my branch point okay i can keep it here here or here if i keep it here i can't get this negative feedback if i keep it here if i'm going to keep it here this branch point here then the block it is g3 okay so i shifted this branch point then i put this after g1 i kept here so when i kept it here then i got this network as a negative feedback this is negative i got this as a negative feedback and here I moved this branch point after the block. If I am moving the branch point after the block, I need to multiply with 1 by G. So I need to multiply with 1 by G1. 1 by G1. Okay. So this is it. Since I moved my branch point after the block, I need to multiply with 1 by G. I discussed it in the previous video. The rules for doing block diagram reduction. Now, now as you can see here, these two blocks are in series. If two blocks are in series, then we will multiply those blocks. Now, as you can see here, these two blocks are in parallel. So if two blocks are in parallel, we will add them. So G3 by G1 plus G2. Now do cross multiplication. It will become G3 plus G1 G2 divided by G1. So this will be our block. Now the summing point got eliminated, we, the blocks were in parallel, we add them and we got this single block. Now as you can see here, this network, it is in negative feedback, okay. For negative feedback, G divided by 1 plus GH. So G it is G1, G1 divided by 1 plus G1H. Now, as you can see here, these two blocks are in series. When two blocks are in series, we will multiply them. So when we multiply both this, then G1 and G1 will get cancelled. The final answer we are going to get is G3 plus G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G1 H. So this is the final block that we are getting. We reduced this network into a single block. So transfer function is output by input. Output is C divided by R. That is G3 plus G1 G2 divided by 1 plus G1 H. This is our final answer. Now suppose think that instead of moving this branch point, I'm going to move this branch point before the block. If we are moving a branch point before the block, then we need to multiply by G. So I moved this branch point before this block. I moved, I placed it here. So I need to multiply with G, okay? So I multiplied with G1. Now these two blocks are in series, so we need to multiply this H G1. Now as you can see here, these two blocks are in series, so series blocks multiplication. So it will become G1 G2. Now these two blocks are in parallel. So when blocks are in parallel, G1 plus G2. Add this. Now as you can see here, this is a negative feedback. Negative feedback. Negative feedback G divided by 1 plus GH. But as you can see here, there is no G term. That means our G, our G is equal to 1. So in negative feedback, G divided by 1 plus GH. Instead of G, we need to write 1. So 1 plus, instead of G, write 1. 1 into H, that is H. And here the H term, it is HG1. So HG1, okay. G, we need to take it as 1 and H, we need to take it as HG1. Here it is HG1. 
So it will be g divided by 1 plus gh instead of g write 1 and 1 plus 1 into hg1. So you'll get like this. Now when blocks are in series just multiply them. In this case also we are getting the same answer. So you can use any method. You can either use this branch point and move it to here. You can use this branch point then you can move it to here. Or you can use this branch point then you can move it to here you can use any method at the end of the problem you will get the same answer if the steps are correct so when you get a question first of all you check whether there is any series or parallel element if there are no series or parallel element then go for the next rule that is branch point can we move branch point before or after a block do the process like that in the next video we can do a complicated question that will come for your exam